Janet Garufus has forgotten more about banking than most people will ever know. Garufus, the CEO and chairman of Montecito Bank & Trust, started working in the banking industry as a teller at Security Pacific Bank to put herself through college. She wanted to be an English professor when she graduated. English professor jobs were hard to come by, and she already had an excellent job in banking, so there she stayed. Janet made a lot of connections while working there, including a very important connection with Nick Garufus, who she married. Someone at the bank recommended her for management training, but by then Garufus had done most of the jobs in the bank, so she was fast-tracked through, to the point where her credentials were signed without her ever having to take the training. After that, she was promoted to assistant supervisor. Security Pacific Bank was acquired by Bank of America in the early 90s, and Garufa stayed with Bank of America and moved into a position of leadership with them. Bank of America was extremely focused on westward expansion during that time. Within the first couple of years, Garufa helped make 11 acquisitions of other banks and worked in the company's small business lending division. When Garufus started working in banking, there was no concept of company credit. Garufus helped change that, opening funds up to entrepreneurs in a major way. Within four and a half years of Garufus working there, Bank of America went from having $750 million in small business loans to $4.5 billion. Being part of something so big was starting to make Garufus feel more like a cog in a machine than an accomplished banker, and her husband's health was starting to decline. Nick was diagnosed with Parkinson's and then cancer, and with so much going on, Garufus decided to step back and take care of her husband while possibly getting her master's degree. She wasn't retired for very long before she got a call from a friend who asked Garufus to come back to Bank of America and work for her. Garufus was back for less than a year before Bank of America was acquired by Nations Bank in October 1998. Garufus stayed through the merger and retired again. Nick's Parkinson's was getting worse, so Garufus stayed home with him and chose to go back to an old dream, being an English professor. Unfortunately, her husband's health continued to get worse. Nick developed dementia and Garufus couldn't keep him safe and taken care of at home. He needed a higher level of care than she could afford on a professor's salary. Garufus realized she needed to re-enter the workforce, so she sent her application to Montecito Bank & Trust. Five minutes after Garufus faxed her application to mb and she got a call inviting her to meet with the owner, Mike Tobes. They immediately bonded over writing and what it meant to make a difference in a community. Garufus accepted the job from Tobes, and while they worked together, she learned a lot from his example. Today, she follows in the tradition of Hall of Fame member Mike Tobes. And the rest, as they say, is her story.